know that Denver ranks among the most lucrative cities in the U.S. for child sex trafficking. Surprising, isn't it? Well, now a local student-led movement is working to bring awareness to human trafficking. It's called SHIFT. John DeYoung, Elena Luckenbach, and Jake McDonald are here to tell us about SHIFT and what they are doing. John, let's start with you. Why human trafficking? How did you get involved with this? We got involved in human trafficking when a couple students and I went to India. And from India, we experienced trafficking. And then when we came back here, uh, we re realized and was informed by the local police sheriff's office, by the FBI, what is happening here locally right in Denver, Colorado. I don't think people know what it means. They hear trafficking and they go, what is tra What really is human trafficking? Yeah, generally I think most people when they hear the term human trafficking, there's a little bit of awareness nationally and globally about it, but they think it's entirely in Cambodia sure. and India. And, and, and it is happening but there. Right here in Denver. But Denver, Colorado, we're one of the top three cities in the nation for what sex does it mean? child what trafficking. Um, what's happening is that children are being trafficked for sex and through sex exploitation and through blackmail and coercion here right in the backyard of us in Denver, Colorado. And it doesn't here. necessarily mean they're being kidnapped and like that. They are living in their homes at some times and this is happening with parents not even their knowledge of it? Exactly. It's it's uh, human trafficking, modern day slavery looks so different yeah. than it did back in the day. All right. Elena, the conference this weekend, I know this is a really big deal. Why? Well, what is it that you guys are doing? Um, we just really want to bring awareness to the community, and I want I personally joined because I wanted to be a voice to the voiceless and really just educate people on the subject because, again, a lot of people do not know what it is or how to get involved. And I, I personally, like, when I don't feel safe going to the mall or going anywhere, like, I don't want anybody to feel that way, and yeah. I want to make sure that... Um, we can help as many people as we can. I know you're a senior in high school, Jake, you're a junior. Uh, what else about the conference? What will people take away and what's the purpose of the conference? Uh, well, like our name says, it's shifting from awareness to action. So we're going to have a lot of awesome speakers there to kind of educate the community on what sex trafficking looks like globally and locally and how um, the youth can get involved and we'll have different organizations there to, for people to plug in and get directly involved with. Anyone can come? Kids, Anyone can adults? come. Um, we're, for the youth, we're kind of like middle school and above to because right. it's some sensitive material, sure. but it's important to get um, middle schooler students and high school students to know what is happening in the Denver area. Well, I applaud you for getting involved, especially mm -hmm. at your age, taking something like this so seriously. John, I know you have led this movement with these kids too, so thank you. Thank you. Good work. Um, the Shift Freedom Concert and conference is this Friday and Saturday. It's at Cherry Hills Community Church in Highlands Ranch. Tickets for students are $17. That gets you into both the concert and the conference with a big name, actually, at the concert, too. David Crowder. With David Crowder, yeah. And $27 for adults to attend the conference. You can find out more information in the On TV section of our website, kwtn.com. Thanks, guys. New at 830 into your health.